Two registered sex offenders accused of engaging in sex acts with an underage girl at an El Cajon motel are scheduled to appear in court here this afternoon. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live from the El Cajon courthouse with a preview of today's arraignment. Kelly. That's right, and both uh, registered sex offenders were recently released from prison. Uh, the list of charges they face uh, are very long and, and quite honestly quite disturbing. One suspect faces a human trafficking charge. Now, both men are accused of having sex with a 16-year-old girl. Here's what the El Cajon mayor told us this week. They videotaped the process, and our police found out that there was a videotape, and so they came and got the videotape and arrested both the men. And 34-year-old Lawrence Cantrell and 70-year-old Michael Inman are due in court this afternoon uh, for their arraignment. Uh, we actually got these photos of them from the Department of Justice's National Sex Offender Public website. Friday, police got a hold of that video Mayor Wells was referring to, and the two men were arrested. Police say the attack happened at the Motel 6 on Montrose Court in El Cajon, and that Cantrell, who had gotten a hotel voucher through a program meant to help people recently released from prison, is the one who brought the teenager to his room uh, where she was alleged assaulted by both men. Now, investigators say Inman told them they also had sex with other juveniles in that same room. Police are working on identifying the other victims. Now, meanwhile, their arrests have sparked anger and frustration with the city of El Cajon, uh, who are looking at new restrictions for people who use hotel vouchers. We certainly don't think it's fair to the people of El Cajon, and the, what we're finding is there are dangerous people coming into our city and committing alleged crimes. And that was the deputy mayor of El Cajon, uh, Steve Goebel. Uh, now the council is set to vote on these new restrictions sometime next week. As for the arraignment that is scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon, we will be there covering it and let you know what happens. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.